and welcome back to my channel happy 2019 i can't quite believe that we're saying that i feel like 2018 was just it was just a crazy year it went so fast so many amazing things happened so many sad things happened and i feel like i was just ready for a new year fresh start all of that good stuff i hope you all had lovely christmases and new years with your families and friends um i'd surprised nathan with my fiance, you won't know that because that happened in October and I'm such a terrible YouTuber that I don't film for ages. So yeah, I'm engaged, woo. And um, that happened in Jamaica, so that was amazing. I planned a surprise trip to New York for him in like May time. We've always dreamt about doing New Year's in different countries. So I thought, do you know what? Like, I'm just gonna do it. Like, we've saved so hard for the house. Like, it's time to sort of spend um, a little bit of hard earned money on something that we both really, really love. Um, so I told him on Christmas Eve that we were gonna be in New York for New Year. Um, that was amazing. I had like a little bauble that I'd hung on the tree that said like New York and the dates and I'd filmed the reaction. So that was, that was amazing. But it's my first time to America and I was just so, so excited and oh, it was just a dream, like just a dream. There's also, going to America also means going to Sephora. So this is what this YouTube video is about today. What I bought. I've just realised that you can see my poorly little boy. He's got a cone around his head. So that thing there, his little cone, because he's had an operation the other day. So he's feeling very sad. Um, he's not allowed outside and he hates that. So. He's just sort of not leaving my side. Um, and my hair's gotten so, so much better condition because of it. My hair's grown so, so long. Um, so I'm just trying to embrace it a little bit more this year. And I think I'm gonna get it colored maybe around March time, maybe. So I haven't had it colored since I went away. So September to March, what's that? September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So I would have given it like a seven month break of color. And I think that's what it needed. This was the damage. I had to double bag it. Like there's actually two bags here. Because I'm like, oh, it might break. I was like, oh my goodness, like that is terrible. And like in New York, there was a Sephora like everywhere. There's so many. I would go into every single one. Nathan was like, do we do we need to go into every single one? And I was thinking, well, you never know. They might have something different. They didn't, but oh, it was just amazing. Um, you'd find ones that were like too busy, and I can't shop when it's too busy. Like I just. I just can't, I just, I'm not one of those people. Like I take my hats off to the people that are powering through, pushing people, but. So I managed to find a quieter one. Um, it was a still like a really, really big one, but it was also a bit later in the day. So I don't think many people were as, um, were shopping as much. I'd been making like a secret list um, from May until New York about things that I definitely knew that I wanted um, because I'm someone that can get very like caught up like I just love everything and I want to try everything and obviously you can't have everything especially when you've got a weight allowance and also a budget and obviously in New York there's not just makeup there's food there's so much food different there's different types of food like bagels and desserts and burgers and oh it was just amazing but also so many other things to do like attractions and stuff so i knew that i had to be sensible with what i was buying otherwise i would have just got too excited too overwhelmed i think it's probably the better word and um would have wanted to buy everything so i kind of knew the products i definitely wanted um because i know that i will love them use them all the time um and i also made a promise myself that i wouldn't buy anything that i can get in the uk because if i really wanted that much I can just save up for it when I'm here. Um, so that was kind of my, they were my focuses, that was what I was gonna do, and I feel like I stuck to it quite well, but I'll show you what I've got, I'll stop talking and just show you what I've got. So I've got the Jesse Perkins Bomb Ass Brows Benefit Collaboration, and I know what you're thinking, yeah, it's Benefit and these products you couldn't get in the UK, that's true, but actually, 
bear with me. These are all rose gold, so you can't buy that in the UK. But the reason that I got it was because this was, I can't quite remember, maybe like $46, I think. I think $46. Um, but everything in here is full size by this mini little Cabral. Um, and all of those products together, because you can actually buy this size Cabral, it's just a mini, would be like $112. And it was all things, so I kind of decided, I knew that's what I was gonna get. So I hadn't been bothering with my buying brow products. This is my other little cat coming in right now. Hello, where are you going? Are you coming up here? Come here. Okay, um, so, I hadn't bought any brow products in the UK um, because I knew that I wanted this. I knew that the value was really good, but I also knew the risk was that this was selling out. Um, but they had they had some left. It came in loads of colours, so and actually this one was all the shades that I would usually use. And let me tell you, this has absolutely been like a lifesaver. This product in particular. The 3D brow set. <laughs> wow, what's going on? Come here. Come come. Come on. There you go. There's that tear. Um, this, the 3D brow set, again, you can buy this. You can buy this in England. It's just changed my life. Like, I've never had so many compliments on my brows, ever. And actually, when I've been at work, I've just been, yeah, I've just been, putting this through my brows um, and I've had so many compliments on my brows and it's so nice I'm like it's this it's it's just this um, I've always had the precisely my brow um, but I used to either have it in three or four this is 3.5 I do believe you can get this in the UK now as well um, but yeah that's a brilliant eye pencil I also got in here the foolproof brow powder um, and I've really been in, enjoying that as well I haven't really played with it too much but um, again you can buy that in the UK but I just thought for value it was just amazing um, and like I said if even if just I've learned anything just this product this 3d brow setter in clear because it's not tinted it is just amazing that's all you need buy that it kind of gives you that you know that brushed up a bit closer I don't know if you can see them but they are just like brushed up. It's just oh, amazing. I love it. So I'm so, so chuffed with that. So I just know that I can repurchase that and I won't be regretting it. And it also comes with the little spoolie on one end and the little angled brush on the other. And again, it's really handy. So super happy with that. I then wanted... There was a, a, a brand called Tatcha that you probably all like know about, the, the, the Dewy Skin Mist. Um, I absolutely have been wanting this product for years, like absolute years. For me, a Dewy Skin is like my favourite. I really love how skin looks. Anyway, I was in one of the Sephora's and I was looking and I found it and I was like, you know, playing with it and looking at all the Tatcha products. And this guy, I don't know if he worked there or not, but he came up to me and he was like, you have to buy this. I was like, oh no, like I am, like don't worry, like I'm definitely buying this. He was like, it's amazing. He was like, I've never been complimented on my skin so much. He was like, it's just the best product. Like if you buy anything today, buy that. I was like, oh no, like don't you worry, I am. It's just filled with such good, I'm chatting, I haven't even showed you. It's, yeah, so the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is what the um, Stewy Skin Mist looks like. Just like a little bottle and it's 40 ml and you just give it a shake um, and spray it like three to like one, two, three, I'd guess. Just to, you know, you don't wanna, you only need a little bit, otherwise you'll end up wasting the product and it's too expensive to waste. It's a product you can use like before you put on makeup, when you've put on makeup, if you're not wearing any makeup and you just want to like spray, like have a skin mist, it's got so many ingredients in it. Um, it's got 20% botanical oils and it will moisturise and leave the skin dewy. Um, got hyaluronic acid, 
um, and infused with Tatcha's trio of Japanese anti-aging superfoods that restores the look of youthful radiance. And I'm here for it. I'm 27 and I don't need youthful. You know, that's a scary thought. So I bought two because I'm, it's one of those products that I know that I'm going to use every day and every day that I have been back, I've been using it and it just leaves your skin dewy, glowy for the whole day. Um, so absolutely love this product. So if you're going to a Sephora, definitely buy one or two because even buying two was, is at least £30 cheaper than buying one from the UK. Um, and that's that, so if it's not a fake or you don't know, you just don't know. So, oh, absolutely love this. I also picked up the Tatcha Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. Um, I've been, again, hearing so much about this. And to be fair, I haven't, I haven't opened this one yet. I'd obviously seen it in store and I know that it was on my list. It comes with a little scooper that you scoop. Everyone just says you need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. Um, so it's gonna last me years and years and years. Um, but it looks like this, comes with a little scooper. I don't know if that's scooper, scraper, I don't know. Um, Okay, so this looks like this. As you can see, I haven't used it yet. And they literally say you need the tiniest, tiniest amount. You just scoop it and you're just gonna put that where you want like to fill in your pores or like lots of people use this when they're not wearing makeup as well if they just want like a filter, a filtered look. Um, and again, it's one of those products that's got really good ingredients in it. It invisible layers of silk instantly filters away imperfections and impurities for a layering skin all day and over time. So, yeah, this is gonna last me years. I don't know, it's probably not healthy to keep it that long. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna invest in it. I think this was 40 something dollars as well. And um, yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm here. I can't get this in the UK and everyone talks about it. It's in so many people's best of beauty 2018. So I was like, yes, I made a brilliant decision. Um, so really excited to see how that goes and i will update you all on how the products are maybe i'll do like a tutorial or something just so you all know what i actually think of like that because like i said i haven't i haven't tried that because i've been excited to open it and show you guys um but yeah that's called the silk canvas and it blurs primes protects color corrects and it's got the japanese superfoods that will help again to restore the look of youthful radiance bought also like drunk elephants a brand that's in the uk now um but there's certain products that you can't buy in the uk because they're not um i don't know there's a there's a reason why they can't be sold in the uk so this um drunk elephant sukari vape facial it is only sold in america um i think it's because it's got a high percentage of something that you can't buy here um and i've applied this once and oh it's amazing that is amazing. They call it vape facial. You're meant to leave them for 20 minutes. Um, and they call it a next generation mask um, facial. Effectively, it generally exfoliates the pore lining with surfaces by getting rid of buildup of dead skin. Um, and it, it, it delivers incredible brightening and improves skin elastic feel and reveals a look of more even, radiant, baby soft complexion. Think of it as an extra nudge for stubborn, dull skin. So, yeah, I, I'd agree with that. I put it on, uh, I think, after we've been. Maybe the day after we got back, we'd been flying, we'd been, we were exhausted. Um, and I put it on and it like, feels like it tingles. And then you wash it off after 20 minutes and yeah, your skin just feels so soft and I definitely looked brighter. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. People say this is like a, like skin changing. So again, I'm down for that. Um, and it also came with a little, virgin marula oil sample which again i can get in the uk here um, and that was lovely so you put the facial on wash it off and then put like an oil on um just to really help seal in all the moisture i also bought this was the thing that i didn't stick to whilst i was out there i bought the c tango multi eye multi vitamin eye cream i needed an eye cream whilst i was out there because it was really cold really windy i could find that my eyes would get i found that my eyes were getting really dry i hadn't packed an eye cream i just packed like my normal moisturizer um so this was one that i've been wanting to buy anyway in the uk i thought 
Okay, it works out to be the same price, but I'm gonna get it because I need one now and it'll just save me by, instead of buying like some random one that I don't know if I like or is good. I know that this is um, had really brilliant reviews. Again, it's in so many people's um, best of beauty. This is what it looks like and all of the junk elephant products is like really easy to use. You need the tiniest amount. Um, and this this is a multivitamin eye cream, which is rich and restorative, um, featuring a bright combination of eight peptides, five forms of vitamin C, cucumber, extra extract for firmer, stronger looking skin around the eyes. And I've been putting this on before I've put concealer on, and I definitely feel like my eyes are getting brighter underneath. They're definitely not so dark. Um, so really, really happy with that. Again, I've just realized I didn't show you what the baby facial looks like. Again, you can only buy the baby facial in America, but you can buy the um, this in the UK, and it's had such brilliant reviews, and it is so soft on the eyes. It isn't like I put it around the eyes, and it doesn't sting or anything. You need the tiniest, tiniest amount. Um, and then this is the baby facial, like a little pink bottle, and then it comes with a little mini oil. But again, you can buy that in the UK. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy more of the John Kettleford products, but when I, as and when I need them in the UK. So next, I also brought the, the Ole Henriksen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, Desi Perkins, funny enough, um, swears by the oil one of this, but has recently been using this one. And again, she's just saying it's all about the glow. It's called the Glow 20OH Dark Spot Toner. So it targets dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, skin texture. Um, and yeah, it's just meant to be um, amazing and just makes your skin glow. And um, if you do have any like dark spots on your face, this is gonna help you with this. I did put it on before and after picture up on her Instagram, so maybe have a little look at that. Um, but I don't, oh, God, I don't have wrinkles yet. I don't have fine lines yet. Maybe a couple under my eyes, but I just think it's always good to be preparing and this was really reasonable it's like 20 something dollars um i don't know i don't think you can get this in the uk either um but i don't really suffer with oily skin but the green one the oil control one is also meant to be amazing um but i put this in my basket and this really helpful lady was like it is amazing like brilliant decision i was like thank you um and again, I've been using it, I think I've used it twice now at night, and your skin just looks so glowy after. So again, really, really happy with that. And uh, what else did I get? I bought random, it was probably like an impulse buy, but like nothing too crazy, it was like $10. This is the Kapari de Coconut Oil Deodorant. So there's been, I've been reading so many things about how normal deodorant is so bad for you. And... I've, I try not to like listen too much to like crazy things otherwise you wouldn't be buying anything but actually they people have said and this is one like loads of awards even award um last year with Allure like it's a natural deodorant and it works just the same as a normal one it just smells like coconuts so yeah it's just like a little stick which again I used to be grossed out by but it, it's not sticky you don't, you don't feel wet and you are feeling fresh smelling good for the whole day um, and it's all natural and nothing that can harm you so I don't know if you can get yourself um, one of these or look into like natural deodorants maybe look at it because it does the same thing and that's going to be better for me than it's probably worth um, trying it um, so yeah really happy with that um, okay a couple more oh I also picked up what I'm wearing my skin today is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturiser. For some reason, you can't get that in the UK. They've got other foundations. I think they've got another style of BB. Um, they obviously do the Tarte Shape Tape, all of that good stuff. But you can't buy this um, particular BB cream in the UK. Really random. Um, but again, it's had such brilliant reviews. And I just, I think I was saying in one of my last videos, wearing foundation all the time. You don't think you actually need to. Um, so I've just been putting this on and it gives really really nice coverage and it's really moisturizing and again all that amazon clay is actually like good for the skin um and i got the color tan and i'm it's quite light for tan the colors were very good if i'm honest they do need to release more shades um because yeah i'm definitely not 
tan but this is the colour that's actually might perfect for me right now so as soon as I'm tanned that won't it'll be way too light but I love how it looks on my skin and it's just brilliant for day-to-day -day wear like I said you don't have to wear foundation every day I feel like it's something that everyone feels like you have to wear but you doubt that you don't even if you have a bit moisturizer and concealer on if that's it just you don't need to I just put it on my hand put it on like a moisturizer and it's it's brilliant really really happy we're nearly there um I also bought the Laneige I Laneige I don't know if I'm saying that right the water sleeping mask um and again i think it's in the uk but it's like 30 something pounds off amazon and there's loads of reviews saying it's not the real deal and i don't want to be putting something in my face it's not the real deal and also in america it's like 25 dollars, so way cheaper and so you put this on at night time comes with a little little stick that you can just pop on your face and then moisturize it put it all in it smells amazing it's just like this gel and you put it like lather it like on your face, go to sleep and you wake up in the morning, your skin is so plump and so nice. I started using that whilst I was in New York because again, it was so cold that my skin was getting dry. And wow, it's amazing, like amazing. I love this. I would definitely be, it's like my nighttime moisturizer now. Um, so super happy with that. And I also got the Laneige Dream and Glow Lip Sleeping Mask has got so many amazing reviews um and you can use it on flights at night time basically you put it on at night and with it again it's got like a little applicator it comes with a little pouch but a little applicator scoop it on that pop it on your lips obviously you can use your fingers but you know i like being all extra and using a little stick um and it smells amazing it looks like this and you just need the tiniest amount and you wake up in your morning and you look to like all fixed smooth um and plump so absolutely amazing love it don't know where i'd be without it now and best decision i've made again around 20 dollars if you want to buy that on amazon again it's they look everyone's just saying that they're fake or whatever and it's like 30 something pounds so absolutely in love with that and again it's won loads and loads of awards i also picked up some of the sephora um eye masks because like i said my eyes were getting a little bit sore um, and i haven't used this yet because i ended up just using the eye cream and that sort of be sorted me out like a dream and um, this was this is pomegranate so it's meant to anti-fatigue anti and anti-dark circles and this one is soothing and de-puffing so a little eye mask that you just pop on and leave on for however long but I'm excited to try those um i also bought wow i'm sorry um the anastasia dip brow in taupe this was like 15 dollars and in the uk it's like 20 pounds and i've been wanting to get an anastasia like Beverly hills dip brow but i can't tell like what the colors are online i just need to see it in real life so again i know that i can buy this in the uk but it was way cheaper and i could see the i can see the colors and taupe or taup whatever it's called um is going to be like the perfect color i do know that people say this product can dry out really quickly so i've just got to be careful with that um but yeah i don't i haven't touched it because i've just been in love with my other benefit stuff but i'm sure i will venture out um because i spent a certain amount i got also for free um like minis of some benefit things so like a mini professional benny tint whatsapp highlighter hula bronzer and a little mascara so yeah brilliant happy with that little travel size also got loads of other little samples of some peter thomas things um and also because i spent a certain amount they were offering this like facial um but because i was still shopping i said give it to nathan and then i was incredibly jealous because it basically was like a little hoover of your skin and got rid of all the dead skin and oils and then it comes out in like a little bottle and the top layer is like dead skin top layer is oils and the rest is obviously just the water and uh, oh his skin looked amazing after firstly it was gross what comes out of the water but i was just looking at it and he was just like falling asleep i was thinking damn it like, this is what happens when you're nice i'm like oh no you have the facial you've been waiting around watching me shop i was so jealous so jealous but um 
yeah again because i spent over i think it's over 75 dollars you get something so yeah he got a facial whilst i was shopping and he loved it and his skin is now all lovely soft and smooth and i'm jealous but hey how i've got all these products that can hopefully get the same sort of result i bought two more things not from sephora um but this um this was target oh, so excited about targets um this is the butter bronzer um i've been using this every day i put it back into packaging because i wanted to show you but it's like decisions formula i don't think i'm saying that right i've just seen i've only got two percent battery so bear with me it's called the butter bronzer firstly it smells like tropical heaven but it just is such a nice bronzer i think it was like ten dollars and oh a dream everyone's been banging on about it for years i've known i've it for years one wins loads of awards and it's so nice it's so gorgeous on the skin it's, it is shimmer it's not it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. it's not completely mad camera cut out frustratingly but it's fine because i was just about to finish up anyway but they were all my bits and bobs i feel like i'm going to update you on things like the um the Tatcha silk canvas primer um because like i said i haven't used that yet um i'll keep you updated on how i'm getting on with the baby facial and the olay henriksen other than that i've tried all the other products and i love them and they're always somehow in my routine i think what i'm going to do in one of my next videos is just um do like an updated maybe skincare routine an updated makeup routine um and yeah i just want this 2019 2019 to be a fresh year fresh year for me and my channel also and be more consistent that's one of my new resolutions i've got good vibes from this year i'm going to start reading more um and just sort of investing in myself a bit more um and you know for example this allowing myself to have the time to do this i think as much as i love youtube and i'm watching it and i'm trying to like run a household now and you know try and make sure it works all okay and i think that actually results in me not giving me me my time to do what i want to do and this is something that i want to do so i'm going to make sure that i'm uploading at least once a month hopefully twice i think that's a good reasonable amount to begin with um and just see where it takes us that is my what i bought and i would say to anybody that has any questions about new york just drop them in the comments box below because i went to so many amazing places and i would go back in a heartbeat like, i've gone to other city breaks before but nothing was quite like this like it was all magical um and oh it was just i think it's one of those moments where you're walking around and you're like oh wow i can't believe like this is my life i can't believe like i'm here um and i think when you work really, really hard for something that makes it like even better um so i know that i've worked hard i've saved hard to be able to surprise nathan and take us there and you know even just treating myself to a few bits from sephora enough none of this is just oh you know like oh i just spent however much it's you know i've worked really, really hard for these things and i've gone without for a really long time um and there was thought behind every single product but yeah loved it me and so i knew me and sephora were going to be best friends and we were you did you, you treated me good but yeah like i said any questions about anything or any of the questions about the products and i've just quickly tried to sweep over them i just didn't want to bore you guys um and yeah drop them in the comments below do you want to see my poorly little boy oh, my little baby hello and my little girl just the three of us Sunday morning, Daddy's at football, so we play with makeup and chill. See you soon, bye.